It's very early. It's half past five in the morning. It's silly o'clock. It's silly o'clock. We've just spent the last couple of days at the Tripon um, Hostel here in San Jose and we're up really early. We're waiting for an Uber to take us to the bus station because today we are going north to Monte Verde. And it's a beautiful morning. So we're just waiting for the Uber now and uh, the bus is at 6.30. So when you're buying the tickets to Monte Verde, you come to Terminal 710 and then you take the escalator upstairs because the tickets are up here. So we've made it onto the bus and uh, it's probably about, actually I don't know how long it is, maybe. At, what time is it now? Three or four hours. Yeah. It's, it's 6.40. Six, yeah, 6.40, so we'll let you know what time it is when we get there. Um, it's uh, a grey old morning actually, isn't it, outside? It's it is. mountains, grey clouds, and then beautiful blue sky above it, but it's quite funny the, wind, the windows of the buses are all tinted, so yeah. it's quite hard to film out, but we'll do some filming on the way up for you guys. So after a five hour journey, we have arrived in Monte Verde and we've just gotten our bags off the bus. Uh, the journey was all good, stopped off for a quick uh, refreshment stop. Yeah. And uh, there were some roadworks on the way which delayed us probably about half an hour. It's, it's warm, but the wind is cool, which is lovely. I like that. It's nice, yeah. So let's go and find our Airbnb. quite a short 10 minute walk and it was all downhill on um, pebbly lanes um, we've arrived at our hostel which is Mi Casa Tica something I absolutely love about all the Costa Rican buildings and hostels that we've stayed at they're all so beautifully decorated and there are some talented artists showing all the nature of Costa Rica it's glorious so one of our favorite things about living in the hostel is there is always some kind of kitchen area that you can prepare some food. It's really good for saving money. We're on a tight budget of £37 a day. So quite often we'll buy eggs and cheese and we'll just make and potatoes and make like a Spanish omelette or something like that or some quesadillas. So it's a real bonus in a hostel having a kitchen area that you can save money with. Good job. So out on this fabulous balcony, uh, we get to see the Monteverde Cloud Forest. Right there. Beautiful blue skies and the clouds are just hanging over that mountain up there. And it's just glorious because it's warm but it's got this cool wind coming off the mountain. And you'd pay like so much money for this kind of view anywhere else. But in this hostel we're getting it for under £20 a night, a private room with a bathroom. So how lucky are we to experience this? So Chris and I have booked a treat. We have got a double room with an ensuite bathroom. Take a look at this. Mm -hmm. 
loving the private space. So we've dropped our bags at the hostel and we're going to go and have a walk around the local town which is called Santa Elena! Santa Elena! Monteverde is famous for its biodiversity and um, cloud forest so we're really looking forward to the next few days that we're going to spend here and uh, we're going to go and have a little look around the town show you guys uh, what's around and hopefully find a little snack for lunch because I am starving So this town of Monteverde has got it all going on. There's supermarkets, local fruit and veg stores, there's loads of tour operators. So do some research first to find out which one works for you, the different tours. Incredibly windy and dusty, and some squinting. Well, they say the world is a small place and I think they might be right. Karen, one of the lovely girls I used to work with in our local hospital, uh, messaged me last night to say that she's in Costa Rica and she's on a tour trip with a group of people and that she's coming to um, a certain area in Costa Rica. Well, guess what? It's actually, um, she's coming to Santa Elena, the Monteverde place where we're actually staying. So we've uh, grabbed a coffee and we've had some lovely lunch in this restaurant. Uh, we've pinned our place, we pinged her and um, she sent me a message to say she's walking here now so how cool is that the world really is a lot smaller than you think We found a local tour guide called Chris from Tread the Globe and um, with the help of Maps Me, we are on our way to find the natural bridge. Chris is going to photograph it and I don't really want to explain it because I will probably get it wrong but it looks very pretty on it's Google natural Images. Bridge. Natural bridge. And we're all off to find a natural bridge. Is Merely. it slippy? It's slippy, be careful. You sure about this, Chris? Yeah. Are you sure? Not really, but it's been like it's been like an adventure. It's a proper it? path. So we were super brave, went off into the jungle to find the special bridge and Karen who said I don't want to do it, I'm a bit nervous, actually decided to go for a wander and she found it. How amazing is that? Okay so now we're trying the other way which doesn't really look like much of a path. I've been brave already today. Which is like here. Okay. So we have found it behind us, the natural bridge of Monte Verde and it's a tree trunk that has fallen across this small stream and somehow it's planted branches or roots down. It's just the most amazing structure, I've never seen anything like it. Absolutely, and did we find it through a local? No, we found it through a nurse. <laughs> and maps me. And maps me. So thank you, Karen, and maps me. There you go. How beautiful so we're is here. This? Amazing. Check out this view.
have a little walk around the town which I can't remember the name of Santa Elena okay cut we're in Costa Rica woohoo <laughs> <laughs> It's for you. 